What's up guys? Welcome to your 153rd Android tutorial for the new Boston where we're actually going to get our program working, hopefully get our last tweet or whatever we want for the most part. So before we actually set up our read uh, class, let's show you, I just want to show you guys how we can execute this. What we're basically going to do is just say new read and then we're just going to say dot execute and we can give it a parameter for example what we're looking for. Again we're looking for a text so we're going to refer to that. Again just to show you guys this is what we're looking for a text or we can do um, look through this code and see what else we might need like the date it was posted or the time it was posted I'm not sure exactly let's see here if we can find it. So then we could also see what time this tweet was posted if we go over here to like the create create at so we could throw that command in as well or whatever command you guys want to do um, but for this one we're just going to get you know the actual tweet so we're going to say uh, text then it's going to call this this class so what we need to do is we need to create also a JSON object um, that we're going to create through this last tweet method but this JSON object is going to be something we're going to refer to in our whole class so just set this up JSON object called JSON and uh, there we go so now what we're going to do is while you know this is running in the background in the background what we're going to do is set up basically again our JSON object so we call the object JSON we're just going to set this equal to um, you know our method that we created called last tweet then we're just going to give it again a string name which is the username so we're just going to say my bring back and that's going to create us a JSON object and then all we're going to do is we're going to uh, surround this with a try and catch and we're going to return basically you know the text or whatever uh, we're looking for so all we're going to do is going to say return within our try we're going to say return uh, you know our json dot get string and we can say like text here but again we're passing in some information when we call this run which is our params so what we're going to do is we're going to just say uh, params and then refer to the position zero and finish off our statement so now it's going to look for params at position zero again when we call their method that would be our text so that's it's pretty much the same thing you could have just put text down there as well but uh, now it's going to return this once it returns it's going to call this method on post execute again giving us whatever we're returning and it's named result so all we're going to do is change our text view that we set up which was called HTTP uh, stuff I believe and we're just going to say set text to result again that's what's being returned from our JSON object uh, we're getting the text um, from you know our first object so let's run it make sure it works Oops. and we're just going to scroll down hit HTTP example and then it loads our last tweet so that's pretty sweet um, but again you can do so much with this for example if we didn't want to look for the text we wanted to try that uh, you know the time is created we can copy this and you know paste it here which again is our key reference and it's just called created at and we could run it um, you know you can do all sorts of stuff with this kind of parsing uh, and JSON objects it makes it very easy for us to read some of the data um, that you know Twitter provides or whatever service that you're working with and then we can go to HTTP example and now it loads the time when that tweet occurred so there you go it's kind of a quick overview of JSON and how to parse and all that good stuff so uh, probably catch you in the next tutorial I was gonna do a kind of an overview but uh, for the most part I think we covered covered most of this stuff so I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're probably gonna do something else and I'll see you then have a good one